Welcome to today's video guys. It's going to be a productive one to say the least. I'm headed to meet my contractors for a new flip. Uh, we're getting all our numbers together for my lender. Then we're going to go check out our first flip that we did. It is actually under contract and should be closing in the next couple of weeks. And then I'm going to take you to our latest hotel project, which went way better than expected. And I'm going to tell you how we got 4K over asking price in less than a week. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. guys so we have made it to the first project uh, this is a new flip that we're picking up I'm gonna give you guys a walk through uh, the lighting isn't the best just because uh, the people have not taken care of the home and there's a little bit of electrical issues uh, but I'm meeting a few contractors here I got my GC he's coming to walk the outside of the roof it looks good but there's some places that need to be repaired I got foundation and plumbing coming and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes but let me give you a quick tour Pretty decent, like first time home buyer neighborhood. Average uh, purchase of homes are from 175 to about 200. There's a house actually down about four houses that way. Just sold as is for 140. So this is the uh, front of our property. It's a nice corner lot. We picked this bad boy up for 93,000. We already have clear title and everything. Uh, the tenants are just here, so we're waiting on them to move out. But big corner lot, 93. I got my contractor bid. Uh, it came in at 25,000, and I think I'm gonna be able to cut a couple thousand off of that. But we're gonna budget 30 regardless, because that's worst case. This property only needs really carpet paint and a lot of sheetrock, and um, that's really about it. Hopefully nothing pops up with the other contractors. I'll keep you guys posted what they say. Um, but yeah, it's just a really big home. So I'm about to take you guys to our first flip. As you can see, it's gonna be about 800 square feet smaller. It didn't need nearly as much work, but it's time to you know level up and start doing bigger projects. Uh, we never wanna be full-time flippers, but you know, doing a flip every, you know, to keep our contractor busy every other deal or when it makes sense. We have a lot of wholesales on the board. We have, you know, four or five wholesales going right now. We're looking to pick up three or four more this week. So, you know, when it makes sense, why not? And so here's a quick look at the outside. Roof is really good. Windows are good. Painting is good. This is just a tired landlord. This lead came from a cold call. But big lot, these houses are a little weird because they're super close together, which I'll show you from the front. And so as you can see, the only weird thing about this neighborhood is the houses are like super close together. We're basically, we're gonna keep the cabinets, we're gonna repaint them, uh, new countertops. We're gonna do a vinyl plank all the way out, some waterproof. Uh, we gotta get some plumbing fixed under here. I'm gonna get rid of this uh, wallpaper. A lot of sheetrock repair, huge living space in here. Oh, there's some new doors over there. We just gotta put some trim, basically carpet paint, and some new sheetrock in here, new fans. And then in the kitchen as well, we're gonna do a bunch of recess, the can lighting. We may throw some in here too, just make it feel even bigger. Sheetrock repair, huge closet. There's a master, but there's a huge pit bull in here, so I'm not going in here. And then we go back here to the bathroom. We're gonna replace the countertops, get rid of this carpet, which you guys cannot see, but. Laundry room. All right guys, so we just got our contractor bids back. Uh, the piping on the home is galvanized, but it is not leaking, and they've made a couple repairs, so we're not gonna mess with that. We have no foundation issues. So I was a little bit worried in the front of the house, it makes a slope in the kitchen, um, but he said honestly, they may have just over poured a little on the slab. Um, so yeah, guys, like this deal is turning out pretty good. We're gonna try to keep our rehab, you know, at 25 or under. Um, so yeah, like things are already turning out good. Now note, something's gonna go wrong because uh, these deals are never easy, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the process. Once the tenants are out, I can give you a better walkthrough and uh, take you guys through the flip and the progress that we're making. So on to the next project for the day. This is our first flip that we ever did and uh, it's under contract currently pending close, so yeah. So I wanted to give you guys
guys a final walkthrough of our first flip. And you know, we did nice subtleties to make it feel bigger in here because it is only a thousand square feet. So I'll show you some things as we go throughout. Uh, but you know, simple things, pushing the blinds back into the window, you know, keeping with the white and gray theme. We did some can lighting in the kitchen and just like little things make it feel so much bigger. Uh, granite countertops, as you guys can see, we did stainless steel appliances, vent hood. And I'm gonna show you guys actually the first mistake that we made. So when doing measurements for our appliances and granite and everything, we never realized because it was at the end. Can you see this? The oven vent is just a teeny little bit off. And it bothers me if you're OCD, but we already have a contract, they didn't really care. And what happened was the original person who made the cabinets and this little cutout of the bottom cabinets, they just didn't do simple measurements and it was off, but when we bought it, there was no appliances in, so we couldn't measure it. So, you know, that's just something to learn from our mistake. But, you know, with the granite countertops, the gray flooring, if you remember originally, this tile was throughout and we were actually gonna just try to save it. Um, but over here by the door, we found out that there was a couple more cracked tiles and then when they did, you know, foundation, it cracked a few. So we went and looked, we could not find the exact same tile because it's a weird uh, measurement and they don't make it anymore. They make the same tile, just different measurement. So that's why in here, you know, you see we went with nice vinyl throughout, hard gray, um, you know, because that's just, just keep it simple. We just went based off of other comps in the area. So in here, you know, we did new carpet, painted the walls gray, just a nice touch. That's what everybody else had done on the flips. Um, guys, when you're doing flips, there's a fun tip. Use all the other flips in the neighborhood as, you know, your modeling tool. I'm gonna give you guys another free tip too. So this is the front of the home. And as you can see, they redid the trim around the windows. We got a new uh, soffit and fascia and the HOA actually paid for it, right? So when you have townhomes, uh, you know, if you're trying to get them as rentals, always equate for the HOA because it's usually pretty expensive, but also they will cover things. So on this townhome, they cover everything on the outside. So we got new gutters, new window trim, uh, you know, and it was just a process of staying on top of them and, you know, making sure it got done. However, it didn't cost me anything extra. and. I'll give you guys an up close of the soffit and fascia. It was drooping like really bad because there was a leak from the uh, roof, but we fixed all that. So same thing, like I said, taking the blinds deep into the windows, just make it feel bigger in here, painted the wall. Uh, we did do foundation. Um, if you go back and look at my first video, there was a huge crack in here, which you can barely see it. Um, but yeah, we fixed the foundation. That was the only major repair. Yeah, it just makes it look a whole lot better. Paint it over, put some sealant, and uh, painted the closets gray. So in this bathroom, just to make it feel a little bit bigger, as you guys can see, barely, there's a big cutout right there, the square mark. And you know, for somebody like me who's 6'3", when I came in here, it just felt so small. So about, you know, that would just cost a couple extra hundred dollars. We got rid of that. Um, you know, fix the fan in here, made it a little bit bigger, refinished the bathroom, you know, new toilet. And so we go back here, guys, as you can see, carpet, paint, uh, you know, a little bit of sheetrock repair. This is where somebody broke in. Uh, if you guys remember from the other video, I was telling you somebody broke in and they bled all over the place. They, there's a laundry, not a laundry, but kind of like a storage room right behind this wall. They broke in from there kicked in here and came through because originally what they tried to do was break into the front door and they punched the glass and cut themselves so literally there was blood all in here and this was like right before like the day before we closed like the craziest shit happens in real estate guys like you will never guess all right guys so i wanted to give you a breakdown of the numbers on this deal and uh you know how everything worked out so yes we had some things pop up and we went over on our budget our original budget was seven grand and we ended up spending 10. Uh, we bought the place for 62.5, so we're about 72.5, we'll say 73 for easy numbers into it. And we currently have a contract pending, uh, close in about two weeks for $92,000. 
So it's not going to be a home run deal after closing calls, commissions, and everything. We should make around like $15,000. So nothing crazy, but this was like a four-week flip, uh, in and out, kept our contractor busy. He wholesaled us the deal, so he made $5,000 on an assignment fee. And uh, it was just a good deal all around. A lot of learning experiences. Side note guys, it is hotter than Satan's toenails right now. It is so hot in Houston. It's been running about 100 to 103 every day and then with the humidity it feels like 113, 115. Um, it is ridiculous. I love the great state of Texas, but this heat is no joke. So we've made it to the third and final project of the day. Uh, this last property is what we call a hotel deal, as in we just got this property. Uh, we put minimum work into it, and then we turned around and relisted it on the MLS as is. And uh, we actually were able to get 4000 over asking price. We just signed the contract. We should close in about two weeks. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys a tour, and then I'll break down the numbers, how we got the deal, and how this worked out, and how leverage is so powerful. All right, so as you guys can see, not a bad home, right? Very outdated, but not a bad home. So we did look at flipping this home. Uh, the bid came back at about $35,000 to get it uh, up to par with what the neighborhood standards are. Like I said, you wanna use other homes that have been flipped as your model. And 35,000 would've got this job done and the numbers would've worked like that, but with this deal, um, which I'll break down later how it was structured, there was a lot of people in on the deal and based on the time frame and what we would have had to do to the home, it made more sense to just go ahead and relist it as is. So a nice home, we'll go back here to the bedroom. So this is the master. This is where it took water in one of the areas. It took a couple inches. Luckily it sits a little low in here. So we just pulled out the carpet. Bathroom counter bathroom really just need some updating nothing too crazy nice closet this is a second bedroom the closet a little bit of leakage from the ac system carpet in the bathrooms so you know it's original and this is just like a little kind of like jack and jill hallway and then third bedroom so it's a three bed two bath this home is about 1600 square feet this is actually the second place that it took water. As you can see, same thing like the bedroom, only took a couple inches, so we just went ahead and ripped out the walls. Uh, it was cut a couple of inches up. We just decided to go up because we wanted people to be able to see. It did flood, but not a lot. As you can see, it didn't even make it over here to the carpet. But nice big open kitchen. I mean, you come in with some countertops, paint, the cabinets. Um, I mean, you can do a lot in here. So if you guys remember from the Gilpin project, uh, the hoarder house, I know you guys remember that. Um, me and Ben did not do so well on that project. We actually only ended up making about five to $7,000. I think it was like 6,500 to be exact. Did not make a lot of money. And we were like, we're not doing pools again. That was one of the major turnoffs. And then here we are a couple months later, we've already bought this. So as you can see, the pool is really green. However, the pool does work, and it was actually crystal blue about a week ago. But doing the maintenance and everything, we just decided we wanted it blue for the pictures, so I spent a couple hundred dollars, made it blue so everybody could see it worked, and that was that. Looking back here, let's start with what we actually did other than the pool. There used to be a deck, and it wrapped around from here all the way around. What we did was we just ripped it up and trashed it. It was all rotted out. Uh, you could even throw some chairs back there. I would add some decking back here because obviously it'll look a little bit better. It sits lower. And as you can see, the deck was holding water. But the new buyer is gonna take care of all this stuff. All right, guys, so let's get into the most exciting part, the numbers, right? So a realtor friend of mine brought this deal to me. Uh, she listed our other flips. So basically, these people that lived here, she sold them a new home and they were done, right? And so she was like, hey, I got some investors and she wanted to get in investing. So I gave her three options. We can wholesale it, hotel it, or flip it. And these are what the numbers look like. We all agreed for minimal amount of work that hotel was the best exit strategy. So that's just buying, relisting as is. So going over the repairs, like I said, guys, 
guys. Uh, you know, we did the bushes out front, the decking in the back, the drywall in the kitchen, removing carpet. I brought in a dump to throw all of that away. And then I had somebody come take professional photos and then we just relisted it, you know, as is. So we got the house for $70,000. Uh, you know, all that work only cost me like $1,500. And then we turned around and relisted it as is for $125,000. Uh, investor handyman special highest and best offer uh, on the very last day we got an offer for 129,000 no option all cash quick close uh, so we decided to go that way so that's about a fifty thousand dollar spread um, but I am gonna have to split that with the realtor but it's a free lead I didn't bring any money out of pocket the deal paid for itself and uh, hopefully we can do a lot of houses together and the people were able to, I was able to solve their situation quickly. So it's just a win, win, win all around guys. This is what this business is about. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the journey like I am. We're just progressing, doing more deals, uh, you, you know, using more leverage. I leverage her, you know, her knowledge and this lead and someone else's money and my time and my knowledge to be able to make this deal happen. And that's what this business is about. So uh, we're gonna be doing more fun stuff. I hope you guys are participating, getting into investing. This is why we do it. Uh, if you haven't already, like, subscribe. Tell me your favorite part down below. Um, I mean, it's crazy, guys. Like this is, they're giving free money. You just gotta go out and hustle, right? So uh, like, subscribe. Follow me if you're not already over on Instagram. It's at Flipping a House. I'm going to take you guys with me through this journey of, you know, becoming a millionaire, building generational wealth, and starting other businesses. So uh, let's do it. Peace.